Mickey Cohen was born in Brooklyn, New York, and grew up in Los Angeles. After a troubled childhood, Cohen's first connections with top Jewish and Italian mobsters came during his teenage years, through his involvement in the boxing game. In his early twenties he began working for legendary mobster Bugsy Siegel. By the early 1940s, Cohen was allied with Siegel's partners Meyer Lansky and Frank Costello, approved by Lucky Luciano, and sponsored by his old Cleveland supporters, the Milano family, along with other prominent nationally ranked mobsters. In 1947, Siegel was assassinated and Cohen, subsequently, became the West Coast's crime boss. His connections were so wide and deep that although he was brought to trial for all types of offenses, including murder, he was convicted just twice, for income tax evasion. Cohen was born Meyer Harris Cohen on September 4, 1913, in the Brownsville neighborhood of Brooklyn, New York. He moved to Los Angeles, California, as a toddler with his widowed mother, a Russian Jewish immigrant who spoke little English. With five older siblings, Cohen grew up poor in Boyle Heights, a tough melting pot neighborhood in Los Angeles. His hardworking mother ran a tiny grocery, and during Prohibition, his brothers operated a drug store, where he learned to make bootleg alcohol. Rarely in school, Cohen grew up illiterate and barely supervised. Without proper guidance, he developed a skewed moral compass, and constantly looked for ways to make money, legally or illegally. He was a veteran of two stints in reform school by age 10. He sold newspapers in the downtown financial district and boxed in amateur bouts. He ran away from home at age 15 and lived in Cleveland, then in New York and Chicago. As the Great Depression hit, young Cohen boxed professionally and later acted as a freelance bandit and an enforcer aligned with major mobsters. After troubles erupted in Cleveland, the mob syndicate placed Cohen in Chicago where Cohen ran his own armed burglary crew and worked in small jobs on the illegal gambling circuit for the Chicago outfit, made legendary by Al Capone. While many sources, including Cohen himself, claim that he and Capone met, there is no conclusive evidence of this. A personal meeting between the two would have been highly unlikely, however, as Capone was in prison for tax evasion in 1934, when Cohen first arrived in Chicago. But during his Chicago period, Cohen established strong ties to Capone's underworld organization, with his great enemy U.S. Attorney General Robert F. Kennedy deeply involved in the case. Cohen was tried and convicted a second time for tax evasion in 1961. Sentenced to 15 years, he outdid the previous record for white-collar crime, held by his idol and role model, Al Capone. Like Scarface, he served his first months in Alcatraz, before he became the first and only prisoner ever bailed out of the infamous prison, his bond signed by a sitting U.S. Supreme Court justice. After appeals to the Supreme Court failed, he was transferred to a federal prison in Atlanta, Georgia, and Alcatraz was closed. In 1963, in the Atlanta facility, Cohen suffered a vicious attack that left him partially paralyzed. Cohen was released from prison in 1972, and he traveled the country visiting friends such as New Orleans mob boss Carlos Marcelo, meeting members of the press and appearing frequently on television. In 1974, he made headlines, again, when he became tangentially involved in the infamous kidnapping of newspaper heiress, Patty Hearst. Cohen died in his sleep from complications of stomach cancer on July 29, 1976, in Los Angeles. He was 62.